The MCU is one of my favorite franchises, and it's probably yours as well. Don't lie to me because, well, I have proof. And this all started with a 2008 movie known as Iron Man. Iron Man is probably one of my favorite movies of all time. I absolutely love this movie and I loved it when I was really young, even though I probably shouldn't have seen it, gonna be honest. I had this Iron Monger, which I'll talk about in a different video when we review the Iron Monger figure, as well as this Iron Man figure. And unfortunately, I either lost them or donated them. I don't remember which, but I regret doing that. I didn't realize how nostalgic I'll be when I rewatched most of the MCU and then, surprisingly, very coincidentally actually, Hasbro revealed their Infinity Saga toy line, which got me so hyped with all the releases they had. I was really happy when I found out that they're actually remaking the 2008 Iron Man Mark III as well as the Iron Monger suit, and I just had to pre-order them. And, well, here we are now with the Infinity Saga Iron Man Mark III figure and which I'm pretty sure you guys did not expect to have that type of intro for this but I'm just so excited for a remake of a figure I had when I was really really young taking a look at the packaging it is your typical Infinity Saga packaging which is absolutely fantastic I really like this packaging on top Iron Man Marvel Legends series you can see the figure and all of its accessories the Infinity Saga logo down at the bottom Iron Man Mark 3 some nice space detail on the side Avengers logo Hasbro 4 plus warning on the side you have this awesome art of the Avengers and all the characters from the Infinity Saga. Same on the other side as well. On the top, Iron Man Mark III with the Iron Man logo. And on the back, has this poster of the 2008 Iron Man movie with it saying, Tony Stark takes on the world's worst villains in the Mark III suit, a technological wonder equipped with a variety of stunning enhancements and upgrades as I have multiple languages. On the bottom, warnings, bottom, warnings. And yeah, that's about it. Let's get into the figure. So the background here is all the different logos for the Avengers. I think it's a pretty nice background. It's, uh, I think, a bit basic, but I'm fine with it. Come on, get out. Alright, so here is Iron Man out of the packaging. Now, as you could tell, I did switch out the Iron Man helmet with the alternative helmet that comes with the figure as one of his accessories, but let's take a look at the head that comes on the figure, which is this open masked head. Minus, oh shit. It looks really good, especially that Robert Downey Jr. face, but I don't know what this is. I, I don't know what that is up here. I don't know what that is as well. It's probably exclusive to my figure, but it just kind of sucks because it just kind of ruins the way this looks, but it looks looks pretty nice. He does come with two repulsor hands, which kind of suck that there's no peg holes there, so you could put in some effect pieces. I don't get why they did that, but it still looks good. But they did paint the area where you would see the effect piece go. But yeah, it looks pretty good, and all you have to do is you have to remove this hand and then replace it with the repulsor hand, and there we go. He's shooting pulsar blast. You. on the figure you could tell that there's this open area here and what's really interesting about that is that you can cover it up there's actually some nice detail there if it would focus there's some nice detail there and you could cover up with this piece here which actually has some detail as well you could just put it right there and there we go can't really even tell it can come off but it can and you can replace it with either this shield piece which we saw in the film and you can just connect that right there did I put it in right I don't think I did I, that's the right way okay and there we go he has a shield and you could replace it with this if i get it this missile piece and you can put it right there and it looks like he's shooting missiles so take a look at the figure i just gotta say the sculpt is absolutely fantastic it looks so accurate to what the on-screen version of the suit looks like it just looks absolutely fantastic and the best part is that they're all pinless joints there so it's a nice pretty seamless connection between the joints and all that and you can see the joint right there which I, I think if they would focus for me I think they hid that pretty well where you really can't tell that if it's part of the suit or not it most likely is there isn't a lot of paint detail here but what paint detail there is looks absolutely fantastic for this design of the iron man suit you don't need that much paint detail because there's only two colors but what's really cool is that they actually added some black paint here and there they didn't need to add that but the fact they did is really nice also see some there as well as the 
feet here there's some nice little detail they don't need to add those details in but the fact they did is just great and what's really interesting is that it looks like they printed the arc reactor there to give it some more detail which looks pretty good there's nothing i can say i'm pretty speechless of how great this figure looks it looks so accurate to what he looks like on screen i i don't have any criticisms for the way this figure looks but for the articulation i do have some minor criticism so let's take a look at the articulation the head is on a dumbbell joint which is great because he could look up about that far it is a bit tight down about that far can swivel side to side as well as tilt the torso here is on a ball joint which is great especially for this character the arms though i do have some minor criticism here so the way they have this shoulder pad connection which i think is pretty dumb but it's circling around this joint i think it's really dumb the way they did it because the arm goes around and it's on a ratchet but you have to move the shoulder pad out of the way because as you can see it looks like it's rubbing on there and i'm just afraid that it's gonna rip off one day if you move we're not moving this out it's just one thing that i wish they designed a bit better they actually did design it better with the 2012 iron man mark 5 or 6 i don't remember the exact suit here but this is from the first 10 years which they sculpted it in so it doesn't surround the joint so it doesn't surround the joint and it just kind of moves around it not with it which i think is a better solution than it surrounding the joint the arms can go out about that far cancelable side to side that's slowly falling off there is a double bend at the elbow and these hands can swivel side to side as well as move up and down barely like if they didn't add any articulation i don't think it would have made a difference like this this is just kind of sad and also i gotta mention that there's absolutely no articulation with these arms here they cancel side to side but that's about it for the legs what's really interesting is that they actually can drop down to create more articulation but it with it just like that it moves out about that far but if you drop it down it can move up about that far that's absolutely insane it can go back about that far and out about that far what they also can swivel up there there's a double bend which what the feet can move up not at all back barely and the feet can move side to side but yeah the articulation is both insane as well as kind of disappointing but quickly doing a some size comparison we already seen the 2012 first 10 years figure right there as well as the avengers game iron man which i have never played the avengers game and i don't plan on it until spider-man is added in here we have the shang chi iron man figure don't really know exactly what it's called it's in like iron man ai or something i'm not quite sure they're all about the same height there's really not that much of a difference between all of these figures they're all about the same height but yeah that's it for iron man Overall, I think this is a pretty good figure. Sculpt is absolutely fantastic. The articulation, though, there's some parts that I don't like about the articulation, or some parts that are absolutely insane that I really like. The arms, I'm always afraid to move because I don't want the shoulder pad to fall off because of the constant rubbing. That's just something I'm just afraid of. But yeah, overall, this is a pretty solid figure. I highly recommend you pick it up. See you guys later.